Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you and yours, to you and your family. I am excited about the new year. You too? Hmm. Happy New Year. I wonder how many times I've said that in my lifetime. How many times have I said Happy New Year? Well, I guess if I'm 74, probably 74 times. All right. But I have a question for you. What makes us say it? Why do we say that to people and why do we look forward to people saying that to us? I heard a saying the other day. It says, live your life and stop just letting life happen to you. Wow. Live your life. So the question comes, what makes happy happen? I think we, 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 we say it because it's a thing to say. It's a phrase we're used to. It's a phrase that we're comfortable with. And we may certainly hope that on most people and hope that people hope that on us. But how do we make it happen? Do we have any plans for the new year to do things differently? To, to, to make the necessary changes? I got some interesting points that were shared with me um, in terms of what people might want to do different in the new year. To realistically look at yourself, me, look at myself and say, what should I do different to make happy happen? Well, how about diminishing negative thoughts. I wonder, could that play a major part in changing our view or changing our thoughts or changing our approach even as we go into this new year? How about creating some financial stability? How about doing some things different financially than maybe we did last year or even any time in our lives. Is it possible to make a unique change in your life that makes happy happen? Now, happy is not something you hope for, it's something you intend to establish. Hmm. How about renewing friendships? How about forgiving family relationships? How about maybe establishing a budget to see if I'm capable of the discipline? What about recapturing your dreams? Dreams that either people or circumstances have stolen from you that may pour in or sow seeds into your new year that creates a you you've never seen. Hmm. How about embracing technology? That's right. How about embracing technology? Do you realize if you don't embrace it, you're going to get left behind. You're going to get left behind. And so many seniors like me, don't talk about what you can't do. Why don't you visualize what you can? You don't have to learn all of it, but learn something new that helps you in this world of technology around you. How about embracing ministry? How about allowing God to be who he needs to be in your life? How about how about finding a church to serve? How about relinquishing, relinquishing yourself to God? Hmm. It's so many things that we can do to make happy happen. Because the truth of the matter is, Happy New Year is more or less a phrase to many, but seldom a reality. Once again, I'll say what I usually say most times. What sense does it make to take an old you 
into a new year. The truth of the matter is, why do we even say it if we're not going to make some necessary changes that can make happy happen? You know what I'm about to say. Think about it.